What is oil? This black gold that fuels our modern world has a very interesting origin. And in today's video, we are discussing just that. Plus, how to find oil, the extraction process, transportation, and all that good stuff. This video is a wonderful complement to the video where I tracked oil in Jamaica from 1924 to 2022. That video is linked below. Now, let's get into it. Often referred to as petroleum or crude, oil is made up of mostly hydrogen and carbon and is found deep beneath land or the ocean floor. Many years ago, as marine life such as microscopic plants and animals died, they sank to the ocean floor and eventually got lodged under sedimentary rocks. After millions of years of heat and pressure, a number of chemical reactions took place that gradually formed this black goal. Over the years, the intense pressure then caused the liquid or gas to squeeze into the spaces within the rocks. This accumulation of oil in the pores of underground rocks is called a reservoir. Sometimes the oil will seep to the surface to form what is called a natural oil seep. Plate tectonics determine where oil reservoirs are found, and because the Earth's crust is always moving and shifting, oil can be found anywhere in the world, even far from where it originated. Geologists use different methods to find oil and gas, for example, seismic surveys. Remember in my last video on oil exploration in Jamaica, I mentioned that they did two-dimensional and three-dimensional seismic images of the seabed? Well, this is probably how it was done. Seismic surveys incorporate the use of sound waves to create an image, similar to what bats do and what doctors use for ultrasounds. For seismic surveys, they may use a vibrating pad under a truck to find oil on land or a special equipment on ships that emits sound waves to find oil under the ocean floor. When these waves meet resistance under the earth, they create an echo that reflects back this information to seismometers that record said information. For example, they record the speed of waves. Then geophysicists use a computer to help them analyze the information and generate a 3D image of the rock structures beneath, which geologists then use to find oil reservoirs. Now, once oil has been discovered, how do they extract it? It's extracted by drilling a well and through the process of hydraulic fracturing, often referred to as fracking. A well is drilled vertically until it gets to 2,500 to 3,000 meters or 1,000 feet above the area where the oil is trapped, at which point they begin drilling horizontally through the shale rock for about 1.5 kilometers. A perforating gun is then fired to create inch-long holes in the layer of rocks. Then, fracking fluid, made of mostly water and sand and a few chemicals, is released into the holes previously drilled. It is released at such a high pressure that it creates fractures in the shale rock, which inevitably releases the trapped oil or gas. Once extracted, it is then transported via ship, rail, truck, or pipeline to a refinery, which turns it into useful products like gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, asphalt, kerosene, just to name a few. Can you list below some of the other products made from oil? Now, even though wells are usually covered with steel and cement to prevent leakage into our water supply, accidents can and do occur. And if and when this happens, our water will be contaminated with toxic chemicals. The fracking process may also cause the release of methane, which is several times more potent than carbon dioxide. In addition, there are concerns that fracking may cause earthquakes. Did you learn anything new today? What are your thoughts on fracking? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I track 
Oil in Jamaica from 1924 to 2022 in this next video.